Water is essential for life. It passes through the landscape in rivers and lakes, flows underground and is constantly renewed by the water cycle. On its way from source to the sea, water is used many times by different people and for different purposes. Water is needed for drinking and sanitation, businesses and industry. In many countries, the largest water user is agriculture to produce food and sustain farmers' livelihoods. Water is also needed by natural vegetation, wildlife and fish in lakes and rivers. Because water is such an important resource, societies all over the world have special relationships with regard to water. They have developed rules to define how much and when the water can be extracted from a water body like a river, lake or canal. Who can extract this water? For which purpose can it be used? In which conditions water should be returned to the environment? For example, if a farmer wants to use water from a river to cultivate her land, she may need to apply for a permit from the Water Users Association based on the water law. In exchange, she may be asked to help to maintain and clean the canal built by the community. In many societies, water or water bodies also have special cultural or religious values. People enjoy water for recreation, and some consider lakes and streams holy places. All these relationships, rights, rules, duties and practices can be described as water tenure. The relationship, whether legally or customarily defined, between people as individuals or groups with respect to water resources. They can be formal, written down in water laws, regulations and policies. Others are customary, unwritten, communicated by word of mouth and passed on from generation to generation. Water tenure arrangements may allocate various rights, in particular the rights to use water and define the duties to protect the water resources for other users and natural ecosystems. They can also define how water users can resolve conflicts over water resources. Different water tenure arrangements may coexist in the same region or community and water users may be part of more than one water tenure arrangement. In many places, rights to use water are traditionally tied to land rights. The owner of a land may have the right to use the stream that runs through her property or the groundwater below her plot. Water tenure arrangements should ensure an equitable distribution to all users and protect natural ecosystems. It is important that existing water tenure arrangements are coherent and that all legitimate tenure rights are recognized by national legislation. Conflicts over water resources can arise if water tenure arrangements do not provide fair access to all persons or if they are not recognized as legitimate by water users. Water tenure arrangements play an important role in building resilience to increasing extreme weather events like droughts due to a change in climate. For example, tenure arrangements may regulate how water resources are equitably shared in times of water shortage. Finally, water tenure arrangements must protect the use rights of vulnerable and marginalized groups, including women, small farmers, fisherfolk and indigenous people, particularly those who do not have access to land. Water is a vital resource. Everyone, including smallholder farmers, must be able to access and use it without excluding others, to sustain their livelihoods and to ensure that no one is left behind. <laughs>